You want to do it now? Yeah, you can you going to do it with me? No. Why? Because I, I don't know what to do. I'll watch you do it first. <laughs> you make this more awkward for me. <laughs> Are you trying to look away? <laughs> can you see me? Yep. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Roman Acres. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Roman Acres. Kirsten here. And I have Jared with me today and we're gonna be taking back our garden.
right, so we are, I think, a week from when we started, I think we're a week from when we started um, the garden cleanup. Um, I had oral surgery on Wednesday that ended up having some complications, and then in that time, I came down with some kind of crud that's going around. Jared, my husband, got it too, so we were both down for about four days, and today's really the first day we're getting outside the house and moving around and doing stuff. Um, so we weren't able to finish the garden. Um, this is where we're at right now. Um, this whole area right here has some strawberries hidden in it somewhere, and we need to try and see if they are salvageable. We were able to find our poor blueberry plants. Um, we need to get them prepared for winter. We've got a few more down this way. You probably can't see them very good. We've got one here. Doesn't look too bad. Could be worse, I guess. This one actually doesn't, this one, Probably the best one out of all of them. But I'm going to fertilize them and then mulch them again for the winter. Uh, our peppers taken out. We do need to dig up our potatoes. And we need to take this fencing out. And, you know, get rid of the tomato plants. We will be ready to start construction on the new layout for the garden for the spring. We're going to put down a cover crop and get all of that ready. Um, we are getting ready to go on vacation in a couple weeks, so we would like to bring part two after we get back from vacation because we'll be back in the garden at that point. In the meantime, um, we do have some garlic that just showed up and we need to get it ready. So this is what happens. Um, well, we're learning. This is what happens whenever you till and then you leave the ground bare. So uh, next year we plan on doing things differently and hopefully we're going to eliminate this problem. But it got so we went from a really bad dry spell to a lot of rain and then another dry spell. And in that time, it, and we don't have irrigation out here. Actually, if you see the uh, tanks behind me back there, those we would pump water from our pond after it would rain. We would pump water into those tanks, and then we would use those tanks to water the garden. And it can work, but it's not very practical. Um, we did get some tomatoes and peppers and things. Things did produce um but we want to do better and so we have a plan to hopefully eliminate some of these problems and get some drip irrigation in here and make things a little bit more practical and productive than they have been um, but that's what happens it got super overwhelming with all of the grass and weeds and everything and we kind of gave up on it and that's why it's so overgrown. So we are taking the garden back and we are going to kill it next year. Hopefully <laughs> that's the plan anyway. We're really excited. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed this, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.